All right, you guys, so starting off, I feel like this style always comes out best with semi-dirty hair. I feel like if your hair is freshly clean, it doesn't look as good. I like it to look more like lived in, and I feel like when my hair is like a little bit more on the dirty side, it looks more textured and it looks better. So you can still use this on clean hair, but I feel like it looks best with semi-dirty hair. So I did wash my hair two days ago, so this is what it looks like after two days. My hair really does not get that greasy I could probably go like five days without washing my hair so you can definitely use some dry shampoo if your hair does get greasy so you want to make sure you have some dry shampoo on hand you want to make sure you have some sort of serum to really kind of like smooth down the waves and then you want some sort of like texture spray so I'm going to talk about those products when I am using them. I get so many questions on how I do this hairstyle, so I figured I would film this video for you guys. The waiver I'm going to be using is by Bedhead. I actually got this from Walmart. So this is what it looks like. They have different sizes. If you use a smaller one, you're going to get more of like a tighter wave. So I don't like my wave or crimps to look too crimpy so I actually like this style when it's like a couple days in um, I don't love it on the first day so I'll probably really like the way it looks tomorrow I like when it kind of settles down and is more lived in so what I like to do is make sure that the setting is not on too high can you not no so the trick with this is you want to make sure the setting is not on too high. I feel like when it's too high, it gives you too much of a crimp, unless that's the look you're going for. I want it to look like a little bit more relaxed, although I know in this video it's not going to look super relaxed because it's going to be the first day of doing it. So this is what the waiver looks like. So what I like to do is just section off my hair. I'm going to section the top off and then start with this little bottom section. So you just want to clip your hair out of place. I like to just separate my hair into two. I'm going to grab a section probably about this thick, probably an inch and a half. So I like to crimp my hair with the waver facing up. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to start at the root. I don't like to leave it on for too long. And then I'm just going to move down. Now the trick is to leave your ends out. I don't want my ends to stick outward, so if I was to do another crimp, this bottom piece would probably stick outward, so I like to just leave the ends sh completely straight, so I technically only went twice. Depends on the length of hair that you have. Now I'm going in with another section. As you can see, my sections are pretty thick. If you want more of a wave, you want to take smaller sections, but because I'm going for a more kind of like relaxed wave I like to do thicker sections so as you can see I am only doing two waves and then leaving these ends completely straight as you can see these sections are pretty big and I'm still using the crimp side facing up so as you can see it gives such a pretty wave, and I think the trick is to keep the heat on low. Again, you, this is like custom, so if you want your waves to be a little bit more pronounced, you can turn the heat setting up, but I like to just keep it at a lower heat. So now I'm taking another section, and I'm still using the crimper face up. And again, I'm going in and just doing it twice, leaving the end straight. As you can see, again, leaving the end out. That is the trick to giving it a more kind of like waved, relaxed feel. And as you can see, I don't really need to see the back of my head because I'm kind of just pulling the hair straight out. And I don't like this look to look perfect, so I almost like it better when it looks a little bit more on the messy side. Alright, so as you can see, we have this 
section done. So now I'm just going to take my clip down and I'm going to take another section. I like to just do like three sections and I'm going to clip this off. And as you can see, this is our straight section. So I'm going to go in kind of finger combing my hair, grabbing another thick section. The trick to getting like a consistent wave is to make sure you're crimping, you're following through with the crimp. So when you crimp your root, you want to start the next crimp right where this last kind of like divot is. That way it kind of continues. So you're going to just put the crimp right there. I'm leaving quite a lot of my ends straight here because I like that look. It all depends on what you are looking for. If you want, again, if you want more of a crimped look, you can definitely bring the crimp all the way through. On some pieces, I will kind of bring it down a little bit further. So like on this one, I might just do one more and then just keep the end straight. That way it gives it like a little bit of like a different texture. I want it to look different. I don't want it to all look uniform, if that makes sense. So again, all the way to the root. Then you want to follow through with each crimp. Leaving the end straight grabbing a pretty thick section. And then what I like to do is just kind of like tilt my head back and see if I missed any straight pieces. So now I'm just gonna take my hair down and part it where I want my part to be. So I part, I usually, I kinda switch my part depending on the mood I am, but I'm gonna part it here today. And what I'm gonna do now is take my bang section. You wanna be careful with this part because I feel like this is the part that obviously frames your face. So I'm gonna take a thicker section here and I'm not going to leave it on as long up in the root because I don't want it to be overly crimped. And that is what it looks like. Taking another section. Again, I'm still facing my crimp upward. Alright, so now we are all finished crimping. So now what I'm going to do is go in with some serum. This right now is my absolute favorite. This is by the brand Trust. I love their products. This is their instant repair, seals the cuticle, and adds shine. The smell of this is to die for. It is so good. So what I like to do is just pump like a little amount in my hand, work it through my hands, and then just work it through the ends. I don't really focus this product up towards my roots, but I will kind of go over my bang area because I don't want that to be frizzy. Um, so I will just kind of bring it through my ends like that. And then I will go in with some dry shampoo just to give the roots a little bit of body. Alright, so now we're going to go in with some texture spray. This is by Paul Mitchell. This is their Invisible Undone Texture Hairspray. I love this hairspray because it does not feel 
stiff. It does not give you that like crusty hairspray feeling and it really does give a lot of texture to the hair. So I will just kind of spray this in my hair. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Again, I personally like this look, like, as it wears. I usually like it on, like, the second to third day because it kind of just settles in and gets more, like, PC rather than kind of just all one. Like, right now, it looks more on the kind of, like, poofier side. But the more that I wear it, the more it kind of settles. But this is it, you guys. Sometimes I like to switch my part throughout the day just to give it more body so it's not just, like, laying all flat. I'll kind of just, like, mess around with it but yeah that is the finished look this is how I get my kind of like wavy hair I get so many questions whenever I wear this hairstyle on my videos or on my Instagram on how I get this look and that is how I do it I use this the most important part is to turn the heat down number one it's better for your hair and number two it's gonna give you a more relaxed look you do not have to have the setting on high I just feel like it's unnecessary so if you lower the temperature down it's gonna to give you more of like a relaxed wave and it's healthier for your hair and it looks better so I hope this video was helpful for you guys let me know if you guys purchase this and if you guys try it tag me in your pictures I would love to see don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one